Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. This is video four, if I remember correctly, of Retro, Retro Rescue. If you remember from last week, we had a Dell Inspiron 1525. This week, we have someone else. Just going to move this out of the way. We have another Dell, but this time it's not the same one. It is this thing. But before we get into that, I would like to thank the channel members Von Garden, Bedex, King King Crafter Oda Terfarotup, and Mislav. I'd like to thank you all very much for being channel members. And let's get into the video. Now, this is a first off heavy. So let's get the sacrificial. Check for official camera battery charger as our makeshift tripod. Let's get this opened up, but before we do that, let's have a look at the expansion. What we have here is a Kensington lock, a hardware wireless switch, a, a hardware wireless switch that's a pain in the ass to move, which is good, VGA or HDMI, VGA, two. US, uh, one USB, one eSATA, one Ethernet, one microphone and two headphones with PCMCIA and also SD card and that's just on one side. On the front here we have what looks like to be, and I could quite possibly be wrong, microphone and infrared, maybe? Maybe infrared. And on this side we just have a mini, a, a mini firewire here. Two more USBs, power, and also what appears to be disk drive. I could be wrong. So, first things first before we move any further is take out the expandable bomb. And as we can see here, we have a SD card slot there and a Windows Vista system. Windows Vista Premium Home Edition OEM ACT is what we have here. So, let's first off place it down and get it plugged in. Now, this should just be as easy as hoping that that fits, which it does. And there is a light. So, open her up. This is a Dell Studio with a Intel Centrino 2 inside with Windows Vista. So this could quite easily be an interesting one. First things first, we do that and then readjust. Hello. And we power on. That indeed was a, that is, a, that is indeed a thing. Uh, the AC adapter type is less than 90 watts per minute. Yeah, I'll continue. Okay, so that means uh, I need to find the other one that came with it and plug that in. And this has CentOS on it? What? I'm sorry. What? Hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on. This is clearly not agreeing. Did that say? That's got a disc in it. Oh, sorry. Okay, boot options. Um. Okay. Let's enter the setup menu. So what we have here is a correct date. I know. Hang on, let me just. There we go, and we'll just zoom it in a little bit. There we go. Right, so what we have here is a correct date, and uh, date and time, that's, that's, a, that's a shocker. Uh, we have a fixed hard drive of Samsung HM320JI S1. This is a Dell Studio 1537 running at with a Intel Core 2 Duo CPU, P, uh, P8E600, 
running at 2.4 gigahertz with a CPU cache size of 32 megabytes. Uh, if we scroll through, this has a extended memory of 4 gig with system memory of half a half a megabyte. Okay. Uh, usual BIOS stuff. We have a summary screen, quick boot, uh, speed step. Uh, virtualization technology, we will enable that because that's what the CentOS was complaining about. That's weird. Uh, onboard LAN, IHCI, USB wake up from suspend, disable, we might change that. Uh, enable wireless, enable adapter warnings, wireless, let's tell you, let's have a look at the wireless, shall we? Bluetooth controlled, yes. Um, wide wireless area network, so basically a wireless LAN. Uh, wi Fi control, wireless switch, oh, let's choose wireless function. Uh, oh, that's interesting. And a wireless sniffer function. That's interesting. Uh, security comes with service tag, supervisor, usual password, uh, passwordy stuff. And then boot options hard disk, USB storage, disk drive, removable, and network. Um, exit. Oh, hang on. No, we want to. Didn't mean to do that. So we need to go back in and re enable virtualization. And then any key plus F12, go back into setup, advance, we need to enable virtualization because this apparently has CentOS on it, CentOS on it, and it's complaining about a lack of CentOS. Also, hello! This is apparently one of the better, better uh, monitor screens, or laptop screens, because yes. Uh, yes, F2 please. No, oh, bother. Delete, I'm going to press F1. Uh, whilst we wait, we must indeed hydrate. Is the coffee cold? Cold enough now? Okay, that is drinkable. We won't know you continue with F1. And be amazed as there is CentOS Linux 4.18.0. Okay. What the hell? VMX outside TXT disabled by BIOS. Right. Now, I'm not exactly sure what that means by that. However, this is not Windows Vista. Okay, so first things first I've noticed. Ew. What did I just do? Okay, apparently I caused this to restart by uh, flexing that down into place. Uh, let's go with a second choice, see if that works. We have flashing. I don't quite understand what it wants me to do. Hmm. Right, give me a moment to do some Googling. Oh, never mind. I didn't get a chance to do any googling. I didn't get a chance to do any googling. We actually have something working. Right, so whilst we wait, we must hydrate. So, a cup of coffee and a couple of biscuits to go with the coffee. Like I said, when I got these, I had no idea what was on them. I still don't have any idea what is on them. So the fact that this has CentOS on it is a surprise. And the fact that the BIOS was accurate with the time suggests this may have been turned on within the last couple of years. And the BIOS battery hasn't absolutely just died. So we now have to just wait for this to, uh, for this to finish booting. Okay, so we are now back. I don't think you can see what that says. Let me just hope this works. So it's Capcom. Oh, right, okay. Let's try this. Admin. Capcom.
Right, okay, so I don't actually know the password for this. One, two, three. Huh. Right, so I don't know what's on here, and uh, this is one of them times where, as much as I want to find out what's on here, I can't, I might actually have to return this, considering that is, the person that gave me this. Insert redacted audio here. So I'm going to have to return this. Oh dear, I wasn't expecting that one today. Right, well, in actual fact, I'm going to have to call this here. Uh, this is not... Mm, what I was expecting. Right, in this case then, uh, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. Hit the like button if you liked it, disliked it if you disliked it. Um, yeah, that's. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to deal with this. I don't, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go from here. Um, thank you very much for watching. And have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, goodbye.